this is a game online called Would You Rather? They present to you two questions and you have to go and figure out Would you rather be this? Do you want to do that? To yada 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 Okay Let's start off with the first question here Be a regular on a daily soap opera Or Make one line cameos in in three large Hollywood blockbusters each year. Interesting. You can be on a daily soap with a screening on TV like five days, uh, you know, five days a week on regular TV. And that's like guaranteed, I don't know, guaranteed work but then you have like three large Hollywood blockbusters that come out each year and you only come in and say one line like you can have like I don't know uh, Bruce Willis uh, Will Smith and I like to say Arnold Schwarzenegger they've made Three, they, they, they appear in three really good films and you only come in so, and just drop your line and says yeah I'll do that and, that, and, that's, and that's your and that's your thing um, you know what I'm going to say daily soap opera let's see what happens Ah. 22% I wonder why that is Soap opera suck uh, I agree novels are so much better No they suck too Soap operas are more watched anyways Yes I can understand that a bit of news, still get famous. Well, we've stuffed up there. Next question. Only talk in the third person or never be able to call someone by name. Imagine that. <clears throat> there you are. You talk about yourself as the third person. Let's say sarcasm on the 99th always agrees. On what Mr. Smith always says. Or never call never be able to call someone by name. You know, you are right. Uh, I can't tell your name. It's like you you, you see them uh, walking along the street, says, Hey! How's it going? Uh, I don't think that will work. Only talking third person? Hmm. Yes, sarcasm on the 99th would like to have a glass of milk. Ah, uh, yes, sarcasm on the 99th would like to have a slice of cake and a coffee. <laughs> That's gonna make things interesting. Um. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, let's try talking to third person because that sounds. Ridiculous. 54%. Nicknames. <laughs> uh, my nickname is Kev and Kevin11. Uh -huh. Do we care? Uh, let's have a look. I would just uh, go around pointing at people and yelling, You there! The James wishes he thought of that. Dang, that sounds Guido. Francesca likes to talk in third person. It makes her feel amused. Next question. Be a nudist or be a never nude. You can go and take off your gear all day, every day, or never, never wear clothes. Never wear clothes for the rest of your life. Let it all hang out. 
you gotta have floppy bits just swing in the breeze that's something to behold but imagine like during winter time if it was really really cold and your you know your floppy bits start doing the inversion and start making its way back into your body because it's cool or um be a never nude now i'm going to assume that you're constantly clothed all the time sleeping uh doing things even wearing clothes in the shower i think that's what it means interesting um well nudists will be all right during the summertime because it's hot you know and the world is warming up but, here, there, but there's a thing would you want to expose yourself all the time actually no never nude let's see that 55% want to go Nikki New. Right, what's your reasoning? Neither, it is for the joy, the joy of making others uncomfortable. You'll be kicked from the public being naked as gross humans are gross. Uh, wait, 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 why did I choose this? I mean, being nude is gross. And all, uh, all but never being nude. How do you take a shower or a bath? Exactly. Raise your dongers. What the hell? It's gonna be hella hard to hide a boner. Okay, next question. Be able to run 40 miles per hour or own a car. With the increased cost of fuel and running costs of a car, and really cars are quite bad for the environment with all that pollution that they spew out, now, running 40 miles an hour. Now, how much is that in kilometers an hour? Whoosh, that is actually quite fast. Um, 64.374 kilometers an hour. Well, you'd certainly be breaking the 60 kilometer an hour uh, speed limit. Um, but wouldn't you get tired? Or well, not unless you're like Sonic the Hedgehog and you just can go and go and go and go and go which they finally fixed up the uh, the song of the hedgehog movie remember when they tried to go and release that shit earlier this year and you got this blue amorphous kind of creature with teeth staring back at you that was crap either you can now run they're close about 65 kilometers an hour or 40 miles and maybe you won't get tired i don't know or you can own yourself a car pay petrol pay for a license servicing yada 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 it'll be yeah it'll be um a pain you know what? If I can actually run at the, like that speed constantly and get to where I need to go, why not? Sign me up. 62%. All right. Who needs a car exactly? I'm Sonic Magusta. <laughs> so being a human cheater versus getting a car. Yeah, real tough. In Senec Bitch. Uh -huh. mm, well, I ran 40 miles per hour. I'm Senec the Hedgehog. Yeah, okay then. Next question Have a Pinocchio nose or have Dumbo ears? you got the Pinocchio nose, they would know that you're constantly lying. 
Does are you lying to me? No. What? Um and have Dumbo ears. Now if I remember in the film Dumbo he could have um flown with those ears, couldn't he? Which certainly beats uh getting down to the airport. Yes. The curse of Pinocchio's nose, if you say, no, no, I didn't, out comes your nose. But if you have Dumbo's ears, you can go ahead and, um, well, it would be a bit of a pain because it's just there. You can certainly hear bloody good. They're just going to be there. Flapping in the wind. You know what? Ah, how about some Dumbo ears? Ooh! Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Ooh almost half and half. Guys never lie. Ha ha ha, nice one. Everyone lies is human nature. Absolutely bloody true. Back to flower, bitches. Oh god, it's a tornado folds ears on top of my head. Next question. Do ten thousand jumping jacks without a break? Or do two thousand sit-ups without a break? That's just gonna bloody hurt. Ten thousand jumping jacks. What? A day? Or, no, either way, it's just going to hurt. 10,000 jumping jacks. You'll be hopping up and down 10,000 times on the spot. Jumping around like, a, like an idiot. But I think the more painful thing would be the 2,000 setups. The 2,000 setups would be even more of a bitch. Um... There you are, on the floor, 2,000 sit-ups. Exercise should not be done to the extreme. Let's just say that. E yes, exercise is good for you, but not to excess. 10,000 jumping jacks. Let's see what they say. 52%. Good. I'm an idiot for having a 12-pack. Uh, a next question. This is an interesting one. Would you rather have 20 million YouTube subscribers or produce a blockbuster action movie? YouTubers will be chomping at the bit. If they had 20 million subscribers overnight. You know, you wake up you have a look at you, crappy analytics, you know, and all of a sudden, 20 million people have subscribed to your channel. And you go and say to yourself, how the bloody hell did that happen? Then you have the other. Produce a blockbuster action movie. What, just, just the one? You spent all your time and effort making just one film. A blockbuster action movie. Imagine that, you go down to the cinema and they put up this advertisement for a film. And you, have, and you get to see this thing. In the first ever blockbuster action movie from Sarcasm 99. That's the only thing. Now, subscribers to your YouTube channel, yes, that will be something, that will be a dream. But, producing your own blockbuster action film, that will be, that will be worth, actually, achieving 20 million subscribers in a blockbuster action film is a lot of work, either way. Um... 
both you have to work towards getting there. You have to put so much time and effort into both of these things to get to that result. You know, it's not like you're going to have 20 million bloody subscribers overnight. I have been doing this thing for quite some time and if I've only got like, what, about 40 subscribers? 40, 45, something like that. And I don't mind, I don't really care. This is only, this is just a hobby. YouTubing here is just a, is just a hobby. This is why I've only uploaded once every now and then. Producing a blockbuster action film, that's, that's, um, yeah, that, no, that's a lot of work. That is a lot of work. Screw it. Let's see what happens when we got 20 million YouTube subscribers. 54%. And with that, I'm going to call it quits because I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just talking right out of my rear. My name is Zarkas on the 99th. That is called Would You Rather. And I'm going to put up uh, the link to this game in the info box. And I will uh, see you again in the next video. So, my name is Sarkaz on the 99th, celebrate the fail, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next video and stuff. Until then, bye.